36 ports from Maine to Texas are set to reopen after thousands of members of the International Longshoremen's Association agreed to delay the strike for better pay and protection from job automation. Joining us now to discuss is the president of the National Taxpayers Union, Pete Sepp. It's great to have you here. A, a lot developing in such a short amount of time. This is really, as we look at this, more of a delay than a solution because the strike could resume in the new year, right? So what's the point here? I think the point is to give a pause so that either government leaders can exert pressure on both sides more effectively to come to the table and finally reach an agreement, or the dock workers union realize that they were not looking too good in the eyes of many consumers and frankly, many other workers. When you think about it, supply chain problems caused by lack of goods getting into ports, lack of ships being able to unload, well, that affects workers all the way down to restaurants and mom and pop stores. There isn't any mention of protection from job auto automation. How can we expect this to impact future negotiations, do you think? Well, there's going to have to be a resolution to this issue. The fact is that U.S. ports are terribly antiquated compared to their peers around the world. The World Bank does a ranking of ports based on their efficiency, moving goods in and out quickly. And most of our ports uh, can barely rank above sub-Saharan Africa in those terms. Uh, Savannah in the 22 uh, ranking was at dead last. And we're talking about more than 300 ports that get ranked by the World Bank. Those issues aren't going away. And automation is pretty much the only route you can pursue to increase that kind of efficiency that we desperately need here in the United States. Obviously, you know, we talked about the people directly impacted by this strike. Uh, and as we cast a wider net here, you mentioned the supply chain issues earlier and consumers frustration. What can we expect, do you think, if contract negotiations, all things considered, they are not met by the January 15th deadline? Well, if they're not met, we're going to be putting ourselves through the same exact problems that we begin that we began to get just a taste of in these first few days of the strike. You already had folks hoarding various supplies, even though those supplies had very little or nothing to do with ships bringing them in. Uh, you could very well see gas futures start to go through the roof because if the whole eastern seaboard gets shut down again and the west coast is open you're going to need a lot of truck traffic to bring vital goods from all the way over there to all the way uh, to the east coast president of the national taxpayers union pete sam thank you for your insight tonight we appreciate it my pleasure